Hey guys, Tim here with another PHP tutorial on uh, creating a dynamic frequently asked questions section uh, for your web page using PHP and MySQL. Basically what we're going to have is we're going to have one page called index. It's going to list all of our questions and answers. One other page we're going to have an add section so we can add more questions and answers. And then the last page will be editing your uh, questions and answers. Uh, so first thing we need to do is we're going to set up our database. So we're going to jump over here to PHP My Admin, and we're going to create a new database. Database name is just going to be FAQs for frequently asked questions. Create it. Inside of there, we're going to need to create a table. We're also going to call that FAQ S with three fields. First field we're going to need is ID. Integer is fine. We we'll just put 11. We're going to go auto increment and primary index. Next field is we're just going to say questions, and the next one is going to be answer. I'm sorry, questions and answers with S's. Type, we're just going to leave text just in case you go over 255. We'll just leave it for that for now. You can feel free to change that. We're going to go here and hit save, and now we have our database set up. So let's jump over here to uh, Dreamweaver. And I just have the basic layout, which as you can see is just what I showed you on the first screen. So let's go ahead and at the top we're going to need to open our PHP blocks. And we're going to include our connection file, which we will create in just a second. I'm just going to call it connect.php. Close off our PHP block. Save this. And just save it at, as index.php. We're going to open up a new file. We need to create our connection file. New PHP. Wipe all that out. I'm just going to copy and paste the code from my site over here at uh, timkiptutorials.com. We're going to go down here to the study at MySQL section, connect to MySQL database using PHP. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy all of this code that's in there. Okay. We're going to go back to Dreamweaver. We're going to paste all that code in and I'm just going to fill in the information. Localhost is what I'm testing on. My username is root. I have no password and the database we made was called FAQs. Save that and name it connect.php. Now we can close that file out and we can go along with our index page. So below this uh, paragraph tag right here, jump down a little bit, we're going to open and close div. We're going to give it a class of FAQ underscore holder. And that just represents all of our uh, questions and answers. Just going to be a little holder div for it. And we're going to open and close PHP blocks. Inside of there, we're going to start off with querying out our database. I'm going to say select all from FAQs. And then we're going to go ahead and query that out. RES is equal to MySQL underscore query of SQL or die with a MySQL underscore error. Okay, now we're going to say if MySQL num rows of a result, which is RES, is greater than zero, we're going to do this or else we're going to do this. So basically, if there are questions and answers inside of that table, it's going to display them. If there isn't any, then we're just going to echo out there are no FAQs at this time. Okay, if we go ahead and save this, we're going to go over back to our browser and refresh. We should get there are no FAQs at this time. Okay, now back up here in our if statement, we're going to just start uh, pulling data from the database. So we need while. We're going to say dollar $row is equal to MySQL fetch underscore soch of our result. We're going to assign some local variables. We're going to call it questions is equal to the row. And then we have our questions field inside of our database. And then answers is going to be row answers. Oops spelling error here. Okay, and now we're just going to simply echo out 
our data. We're just going to open up a div for styling. I'm going to say equals class of FAQ. I'm going to open up a span. Give that a class equal to question. And then we're going to close that span. And we're going to give it a break tag. I'm going to open up another div. Say class is equal to answer. And close that div. And close the final div. Okay? Now, but in our question span, we're going to need to put our uh, questions variable. So two single quotes, two periods. Just going to drop in our questions um, variable. Now inside of here with our div answers, we're going to do the same thing. Two single quotes. Dump in our answers variable. Save that. We will have no results. Just make sure everything works. And as you can see up here, I, I, I've already put in the links uh, to our index page for the index. And we have another one of, is a create.php and edit.php. So let's go ahead and create the create.php page. Save this. What we're going to do is we're just going to copy this main section up here all the way from the first div all the way to the paragraph. And inside the body tag, we're just going to paste that in and then we're going to go down here and close off our div. Save it. Save it as create.php. Okay, so within that div, we're just going to break that down a couple. I'm going to put h3 tags, and we're just going to say uh, add new FAQ, something so we know what's going on. And then under that, we're going to open up an, a form. I'm going to give an action equal to create.php, the method equal to post. Close off our form. Inside there, we're just going to say question. And I'm going to give it input. Type is equal to text. I'm going to give it a name equal to question. And size equal to 65. I'm going to put a break on there. I'm just going to save some time. I'm going to copy and paste this code or this input right there. I'm going to change this to answer and change our name field to answer as well. And under there, actually, we're going to let's add another break here just to space it out a little more. Okay, so then we need a uh, input type is equal to submit. I'm going to give it a name of create underscore FAQ with a value of equal to add new FAQ. I'm going to save this out. I'm going to go back to our index page, refresh. I'm going to click Add FAQ, and as you can see, there we have our form. Okay, so back here on create.php, we need to open and close our PHP blocks up top. What's inside there, we're going to need to connect to our database, so include once, uh, connect.php, and then we're going to need to do a check. We're going to say if post of create underscore FAQ. Basically it's just checking to make sure that the uh, create new button has been pushed. If it has, we're going to say question is equal to, we're going to apply some security, we're going to say strip tags, and then inside there we're going to say MySQL underscore real underscore escape underscore string, and then inside there we're going to put our posted variable of question. Close off our two parentheses, semicolon. What that's going to do, it's going to escape out the string so to make sure that everything is safe to be put into the database, and that's going to strip all tags from it. I'm going to copy this line, we're going to change it to answer. So answer, and then inside post, we're going to put answer. And then we're going to query our database. We're going to say SQL is equal to insert into FAQs. Uh, question and answer. And we're going to get values, open and close parentheses. Inside there, we're going to do single quotes, comma, single quotes. And inside of the first single quotes, we're going to put two double quotes, two periods. We're going to drop in our question variable. 
and inside this one we're going to put two double quotes again, two periods, and we're going to put our answer variable in. Go ahead and query that out. Our yes is equal to MySQL underscore query of our SQL, or die MySQL error. And then we're going to say header, location of uh, index.php. And then we're just going to put exit right underneath. So what's this going to do? It's going to check for our uh, button press right here. And if it does, it's going to strip all the tags in uh, MySQL uh, real escape string, the posted variable. It's going to do that for question and answer, and then it's going to insert it into our database. So let's test it out. Refresh this page. We're going to type a question. What is the purpose of this tutorial? Answer to show how this works. Then we're going to say add. It's going to send us back to the index page. Uh, I made an error. These are supposed to be questions and answers with S's. Save that again. Go back here, refresh the page, hit continue, and there you go. Go back to the index page. It says what is the purpose of this tutorial to show how this works. We can add another one and say question two. Then we're just going to say answer to add, and there you go. Okay, I'm going to apply some styling real quick to that to make it look a little better. So over here on our index.php page in the header, I'm just going to add a simple uh, style block. Give it a type of uh, text over CSS. And then inside of there, we're just going to say, and give it a class of FAQ underscore holder, which is the main container. We're just going to say text align is left. I'm going to give it a width of 550 pixels, margin left is going to be auto, margin right is going to be auto as well, and we're just going to give it a padding of 4. Close that off. Next one we're going to do is our uh, FAQ class, which is the main container for each uh, question and answer, so I'm going to say FAQ, open that up, we're just going to say margin, from the bottom will be 10 pixels. I'll just give it a little space. Oh, let me format this a little better for you. Okay, and we're going to apply some style to our qu each question. Let's say a class of question. We're going to give it a font weight of bold and a font size of 16 pixels. Okay. And then to our answers class, we're just going to say margin left of 20 pixels. Let's save that. I'm going to go refresh. And as you can see, oh, our font weight of bold is not showing up. Question. Oh, it's questions and answers. Keep doing that. Questions and answers. Save that again. And there you go. Now it has the question that's indented a little bit, and it all looks a little bit better. So we can go back here. So let's cover what we have. We have our index page, which shows everything. We can go here into our create.php page. We're going to say testing an another question, answer, blah, blah, blah. Add goes back, sets right there. Um, that will do it for part one, and part two will uh, cover this edit uh, FAQ page, and then we'll be all set. So I'll see you in part two. Thanks.